Hi folks, in today's video tutorial I'm going to continue in the section how to use the map key with Creo or how to increase your efficiency in the driving mode. I will focus on the modification of the hatching or cross section. So I have prepared this small assembly here and you can see that I have prepared the section mid as the middle, yeah? So we would like to create a new drawing yeah, from this view and then apply the section here and modify. So I will create new drawing really quickly and we will use for example the size A3. It's good enough for now. You remember from previous tutorial that it is possible to use some map key for example, create general view as the GV, general view, and the system asks me where I would like to place it. I can use the save it view. So for example, the front, and if necessary, to change scale. You can change the scale and set up the visibility of the line. So for example, we would like to see as dimmed lines tangent at GZA because it would be much better. And over here in this view, for example, we would like to see the section and it's really easy because the section we would like to see. And right now, I'd like to focus on the hatching here. Yeah, because you can see, for example, that system allowed to me to show the hatching, but it was set up automatically. We can say somehow and for example, if you will select right now, double click, you know that it's possible to select function. Focus on the next 3D model. So you will use the function next and the system will jump in the shaft over here. Yeah, if I will continue next, again, the system will jump to this 3D model. And again, if I will confirm next, the system will jump to another model. If you will focus here, it is possible to see here. Over here, in the map keys, what I have prepared for you is that if you would like to change the hatching, you don't need to jump. Yeah, I will select double click one more time. And you don't need to jump, for example, that you would like to change the angle. Yeah, and then you will specify, for example, angle 135 degree or 90 degree or and so on. Or you would like to, for example, change the spacing and, and another preferences. So, for example, you can see here that if you would like to use the function next component is the functionality 9. Yeah, so you don't need to have a look here where is the next, 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 but you can simply use the function 9. So if I will jump to 9, you see that system will jump between the hatching and select the next 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 component if you would like to use the previous component it's the function six so previous component is six 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 maybe if i will zoom here it will be much better because right now it's not possible to see really well in these color preferences but i hope so that you know what i mean and uh, for example over here is the exclude component so you can quickly select the necessary object and if you would like to use the exclude component you can use the function minus and what does it mean the system will remove the hatching and if i will confirm done you see that right now the shaft is not hatched so it's in full view you know that it's possible to use sometimes for the models as the screw or shaft and so on and again, if you would like to edit the preferences, you can select function, function next, 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 yeah, or you can specify right now, I am focusing here, it's a red color, and I can change the orientation. So you can see here that X hatch angle 45 degree or 135 for this component here, I can simply select seven or eight. So on the keyboard, you can select eight or seven, so system will change these preferences for you really quickly. And if you would like to have a really uh, or better visualization, 
you can use the half yeah so if i will push the button a couple of times the half you can see d sign yeah on the keyboard or i can focus to different number what the system do is automatically select half or double yeah so it's the same like click manually if you would like to jump to next component it's not problem you can use the function next 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 and again you can change the preferences on your selected component so you can simply jump to your model then you can use the function if you would like to have the half spacing or double spacing and then you can use the 7 8 functionality and the system will change the angle of the hatch in this example you have seen how it's possible to modify hatching in the drawing by keyboard numero path yeah with some number 7 8 for the definition of the angle 6 and 9 for next and previous components plus minus you can include or exclude components from the hatching and then you can use the double and half spacing yeah map key for these two signs i hope so that you like this video example and stay tuned and bye bye vladimir